Not that you really care, but did you know that the end credits of every single movie not only acknowledge the team behind the scenes, but also serve as a networking tool to find talent for future collaboration and discoveries. And if you didn't know any of this, well, now you do. So that's why in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a end rolling credits in Premiere Pro. And if you stay until the end, I'll share a very special trick for all Star Wars fans out there. And now without wasting more time, let's get on with it. Now in Premiere Pro, I will start by hitting the T button for the text tool and then I will go straight to the program monitor where I'm going to create a text. So I'm going to click on it and then from here, before I start creating the text, I will go up to the essential graphics panel and go down to text and choose a font for the credits. In this case, I don't know what font I'm going to use. Let's say that I'm going to use a medium pro. All right, then I'm going to go back to the program monitor and start typing and I'm going to press escape v and make sure it's at the middle of the program monitor also if you want to make more changes over the text you can go down to text change the font as i did earlier then you can increase the text also you can make it all capital letters or all bold letters and from appearance you can change the fill color you can add stroke background and shadow now when we have created our first text we'll keep adding more text onto this layer so make sure that you have selected it and then press again t and start creating text so i'll start typing random names then i'll press enter so i can go below this name so i'm going to create the text because it's going to take a while and now come up with the final results so now when i have created the text as you can see it looks a little bit too big so i'll make it a little bit smaller like that and try to place it somewhere over here now to make it easier and not do this all over again what i will do i will go up to the essential graphics panel select this piece of text right click duplicate and now we've got another set of names which we're gonna drag on the right side of it and the only thing we have to do is just change the names now when i've changed the names i'll go back to essential graphics panel go down to text and click on to italic option so the second set of text will hint that that's the names of the characters they play in the movie for example now let's say that you've done with all the credits you want to add into this project then go to this layer select it then go up to the essential graphics panel and if you go down to responsive design and time you will see that we've got this option where it says row so click on this and now as you can see the text disappeared and if you go further down you can see that we've got all these options we've got start off screen and end off screen what i would suggest to leave them as it is also from pre-row and post-row i'll leave it as it is zero and here from ease in and ease out you can delay the text to come into the screen and then speed it up if you want to make it a little bit quicker but again i'll leave it as it is but now let's play it and see how it looks like boom and it looks amazing and as you can see we've got this option soften so when i click on it you can see that the text changed a little bit and if i disable it the text is more brighter now let's say that you want the credits to roll on a little bit slower so what you can do go down to the layer again and just extend it to whenever you want and when i play it again you can see that they roll on slower and if you want to speed them up you can do exactly the opposite so we're going to shorten this layer and now when i play it you can see that the credits are rolling faster. And now as I promised earlier in the video, I will share with you a special trick that you can use to create the Star Wars credits. To create the Star Wars credits, we can go to effects, then I'm gonna type down 3D, I'm gonna grab the 3D basic effects, drop it over this text layer, then I'm gonna go up to effects control panel, make sure that you select the layer, then I'm gonna go to the basic 3D and tilt the text a little bit like that and also i will go down to motion and scale it up and just like that you can create a star wars type rolling credits as you can see it's super easy and simple so if you enjoyed the video and you learned just a little bit what i want from you guys is to hit that like button and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe also i wouldn't mind if you drop a comment down below that's gonna help with the youtube algorithm and of course, if you want to see a hundreds of Premiere Pro tutorials, feel free to go to my channel and watch every single one of them. I dare you to watch every single one of them. And last but not least, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. And I bet no one's gonna watch this because no one is watching the end of my videos.
Anyway, I can say whatever I like. 